Hey traders, Raggy here, and I'm going to follow up on yesterday's video because we talked about using a one minute chart to help confirm whether or not there was a low in this area that we could buy on yesterday's sell off. So check yesterday's video out to bring you up to speed. But let's talk about what happened today. I really wanted to follow up on this. So I mentioned that there are one of two scenarios that we might make a lower low or that we might actually start to just put an inside day in. We actually have completed uh, what would be the second day of a minor low if there is a higher low in tomorrow's candle. So that basically means that tomorrow's candle would have to look something like uh, something like that. Not I'm not being a, you know specific to the color, but it would have to be a candle that has a higher low. That's all. Something that does not exceed the low of today. All right. So today's low went down to 1885, which I got to say is a bit of a bummer uh, because I would have loved to have seen a print at 1882. We could have started looking at the levels that I pointed out in yesterday's video to start building calls in GLD, uh, a position in micro gold, or even in the full size GC contract. Again, how you want to execute that idea is completely up to you. It's completely up to your account size. It's up to you in terms of how much risk you want to accept or take. It's also up to you in terms of how much capital you want to tie up in initial margin. So there's no wrong answer there. It's just got to be uh, synchronized to those things. How much capital do you want to tie up and how much risk do you want to take on? Now, uh, let me let me mention something in terms of tomorrow. We're going to look right back at sort of treating this as a potential day trade. So we talked about getting long the market at 1896 and re-entering the market if it hit 1882, which would have been great. Uh, now we're going to talk about the timing that we would refer right back to the one minute chart. So am I managing the chart with a one minute? So anyone who's lost. Am I managing the chart? Am I managing the trade with a one minute? No, only the entry. The trade itself is still very much a daily time frame trade. The nuance of the entry is a one minute when we get to certain levels or a certain amount of price movement range that would get us looking at a partic uh, particular entry. So tomorrow, if we take out 1917, so the number I'm looking for is 1917. If we trade higher, through that level, once again, I'm going to refer to my daily time frames to try to position myself long on a break of that, that number. But I also can look at the one minute chart to see if there's an intraday. It could be a one, it could be a two, it could be a five, it could be a 15, whatever your short term time frame preference is. Don't get hung up on the one minute. I really want you to have one longer term time frame like a daily and one shorter term time frame. Popular ones are one, two, five, say 15 minute time frames. So when we get to 1917 or as we're approaching it, look to see what's happening in today so you can fine tune and use that momentum, most especially if you want to build a position with calls in GLD or GC. So the number is 1917 for the break. I'll use the one minute time frame to see what the behavior is at 1917. Do we have an uptrend? Do we have green grab candles? Do we have a double green trade flag here that's indicating strength? Because this is going to be the fuel in the tank, the short term time frames. Again, the one, two, five, 15, whatever you choose. That's going to be the fuel in the tank that allows us to see 1917 breached and follow through up towards what I'm looking for is ultimately about 1929. All right, hope that helps. Again, daily time frame entries, but we're using shorter term intraday day trading type thinking to, to time to specify that technique, that strategy, that Specific, that specific entry that we want to use. Okay, that's how I found, check out yesterday's video, that's how I found that 1896 worked for an entry after yesterday's sell-off. And I wrote that. And if I want to do that again, 1917 with a corresponding intraday setup. Hope that helps. 
Leave some questions in, in, in the comments if you have any, and I'll see you in the next update.